everyone. It's Saturday, October 10th, 2020. We just got home last night on the 9th from our week-long trip down to the Great Smoky Mountains. Simply beautiful down there right now. And I know as the weeks go on, the colors of the leaves are just going to improve. So if you're planning a trip down there in the next few weeks, it's going to be simply beautiful. Some things I want to pass along to you is the traffic down there is quite high. There was a ton of people, a ton of vehicles. I mean, the last time I was down there was last June. It wasn't near as busy. So, But everything was open. All the attractions were open when we were there. We didn't go to a lot of them. We didn't video a lot. We mainly just enjoyed our time down there. Went out sightseeing, uh, checking some attractions out, some of the restaurants. One thing I want to pass on to you, if you're going to the visitor, visitor center at Sugarlands, before you enter there, they're counting people in and out, so uh, they'll make you wear, you have to wear a mask to enter, and they have you hand sanitized before you enter the visitor center. A lot of places down there are requiring you to wear a mask, just as they are here in Indiana, so enter a public area, you gotta wear a mask. They've got road signs before you go into Pigeon Forge, before you go into Gatlinburg, says you must wear a mask in all public areas. I'm going to tell you, as we drove through Gatlinburg, a lot of people were not wearing masks. I mean, the walks were just packed with people in the afternoon. Uh, some of the places we checked out was, of course, Paula Deans. Went for breakfast this time. Simply amazing. Uh, went to the Blue Moose. It's a burger and wing joint. Great food. Uh, checked out a Taste of Italy. And it, it was pretty good. Uh, then, before we left, as you're going out of Gatlinburg into the great... Smoky Mountain National Park. We stopped and had breakfast at Crockett. So definitely check that place out. Great service. Food was great. But another thing I want to tell you about is uh, Wonderworks. Some of the attractions down there, we weren't sure what we were going to do. So my daughter got to looking online and found out that Wonderworks, besides the chicken hours and stuff, she's seen that they're. Uh, price to go into the attraction was you know, 39 like $39 per person. She got to look and has seen that WonderWorks had a discount for essential employees, which my daughter is and my wife is in the medical field. And they got a whole list online of what they consider essential employees. So with that discount, you had to go on and you had to fill out some information about yourself. Then you had to be able to when you got there, show your ID, work ID, and a pay stub or something to prove that you know what you're telling the truth. So I filled it out. A matter of minutes, Tasha or <clears throat> got her reply back. My wife got her reply back. So we went and headed to WonderWorks. Now this is the one place I tell you that they are limiting people inside. Uh, they are making you wear a mask inside. They're the one the few places we've seen that were following the guidelines to a T, but it was definitely worth it. The discount was for a central employee. That employee got in free, and they could take three guests for $10 per person. So my wife got in free, me, Cody, and Joey got in for $10 a person. So that was 30 some dollars with tax just to go into WonderWorks when usually one ticket's $39. So check out the attractions online. If you're going to plan on going somewhere, see if they have a discount. So I don't know how much money that saved us. I haven't done the math, but it's definitely worth checking out. And I'm telling you, it's a great place to take your kids. There's a lot of hands-on activities in there, a lot of rides they can do. You can spend hours in there. And if you're going in for $10 per person, you can't beat that. So it was a great time. I suggest you check out WonderWorks. We did hit Cage Cove. We did hit Roaring Forks. So go early to those places. It was packed. I didn't get there early enough. I got there at Cage Cove at 10 o'clock and it was busy. Roaring Forks, we went in the afternoon, which was my fault, but it was packed. So I think it took us two hours to get through Cage Cove on the 11 mile loop. And it probably took us an hour to get through the three and a half mile motor trail there at Roaring Forks. Did not see any bear this time, did see deer, turkey, and all that, but we had a great time. Spent a lot of time just in the cabin, sitting in the hot tub, just relaxing, being, enjoying being in the mountains. But if you're going there here in the ne next few weeks, a 
suggest if you're going to go anywhere, go early. The traffic is very light in the mornings in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. You can whisk your way right through town, you get to where you need to go, but as the day goes on, forget that, you're going to be sitting in traffic for a while. One video I did take, is just a short video, which you're going to see here in a little bit, is of uh, as you first enter Cades Cove, it was pretty neat because that's where the horses are. Uh, just the wild turkeys that were out there with, with, with the horses was just beautiful. You got the mountains in the background, so that's the first clip you're going to see. And then that, after that, it's just going to be uh, a few photos. Like I said, we didn't take a lot of video, take a lot of photos. We just enjoyed being down there, checking the stuff out. So if you're going to go down there, go early. The attractions and uh, it should be beautiful here in the next few weeks as the fall colors really pop out. They were starting to change when we were down there, but we had a good time and it's just a few things I wanted to pass on to you. So check out this clip of Cade's Cove, followed by the few of the photos, and we'll see you in the next video.